We'll have to forgive the mess. I mean, it's not that bad, but I call this the stupid, simple Don Smith discovery. Here's my receiving amps coil. I showed how to make that in my earlier video. It has to be cut to a frequency. It has to be cut to a multiple or divisible of the frequency you're trying to receive. Mine's 832 kilohertz, so I cut mine to 18 feet, folded the wire in half, and made an amps coil, which I detail how to build in my earlier video. I added a resonant capacitor to it, and as you see, there's nothing in it. It's hollow. All I will do is slide this into my transmitter. One cable comes off of it. This is my ground connection. I'll take my light bulb. I'll run my light bulb from my inner amps coil. My light bulb is going to be run from the amps coil to the earth ground. This was a Don Smith breakthrough. So I'll start cranking up the power to the transmitter and the light bulb will come on. There we go. So the amps coil now and and I also have wireless power. So the amps coil is what's running my light bulb. If I can show this. And I can tune it too. This could be a Don Smith breakthrough. And that's going off a lot of heat. Amps coil. Whoa, hello. That's weird. You guys are seeing these effects in real time as I am. That's real earth energy. You can see that's where the bulb is being run. Being run from the amps coil. The resonant amps coil. How crazy is that? The amps coil. That is really weird. I have no diodes coming off that amps coil either. It's raw RF. I could slap a rectifier here and get pure DC. I'll really crank it. See what she can do. That's bright. Whoa, baby. Amps coil. Breakthrough technology. I have to lower it a bit. I hear something internally arcing out. Go back to good old 30 volts. So this light bulb is literally being run from the earth ground and my amps coil. Got off a lot of heat. So yeah, I don't think Don Smith was wrong or lying in any way. All that internally wasted induction is now being used to create tons of amps. <clears throat> I 
That is so weird. I'm going to try better grounding in my next video. Yeah, stay tuned. Oh, I love this little thing I bought. So yeah, stay tuned for more episodes on how to use your Tesla coil the right way. <laughs>